fellow programmers, this is Alex Louie, Introduction to Programming. What I want to teach you today is how to store a list of strings. I've taught you how to store a one string in a char array variable, but this time I want to teach you how to store more than one char array variable in a list. So initially, if we look at the following Cold snippet and graphical representation, you see that I've declared a variable called student name with a size of 9, where you account 1 for the null terminator and your index is really from 0 to 8, but you really have 0 through 7 spaces. If I was to fill those spaces up with uh, characters, I could have something along the lines of what it looks like on the screen right now, which is John Doe and null terminator. Now, from our previous lessons of arrays, we've learned to declare arrays as a list of numbers or a list of doubles. For this particular data type, which is a char, we actually have to define our own type-defined data type in order us to, for, you, for us to fit a list of names. Because what I want to do is I want to actually store more than one name. Uh, and this only gives me just one particular name. Now for me to actually store a list of names, I have to declare my own data type. Uh, and the base type would be char, char array. And then I declare a list of that. And I'm going to show you a code example. But conceptually, what we want to do is we want to have something like this, where you're going to have elements from 0 to n. In this particular case, we have 0 to 3, right? We have four names. Uh, and in each element, we're going to have a char array of size 8, size 9, which you have 0 through 8. Where now we can keep a list of names within each element. So you're going to have a similar to what you're going to learn in the second section of this course is a two-dimensional array where you're going to have a row and you're going to have columns for each individual letter of the name. So let's look at the code. If you look at the code, the magic happens up here. What I'm doing is I'm declaring a size for my string size and then I'm declaring a list size. The list size will keep the number of names in my list, so I want to have a total of four names. And each name is going to have a size of 30 characters. You really have 29 because you have to account for the null terminator. So this is my size, my constant size is declared. The first thing I want to do is I want to declare a type a, a user defined type which I will call string 30 and string 30 is going to consist of 30 characters 30 characters so my user defined type reference is called string 30 I'm gonna use this user defined type to declare another user defined type to declare my list so that in the end we really have something similar to this. And that's essentially what I'm doing. Is first I'm declaring a data type that can hold 30 characters. And then from this data type, I'm declaring my list, which can hold whatever number of names I want. So that if I declare it here and say my list 50, right? Because this is a reference type, my type user defined type. It's going to call, I'm going to call it names list. And what I want to do is I want to loop through and I want to gather and, and ask the user to enter a name. I'm going to use the cn.get line so I can get the space. And I'm going to have a limit of size of the actual array element minus one because of the null terminator and as a result 
if I compile and run this, it's going to ask me for a name. So I'm going to say Alex space Louis. What that's going to do, it's going to keep Alex Louis in my names list array at element zero. Then if I say John Doe, that's going to keep John Doe in names list array element one. Steve Smith and Peter Lorne. So what we have here is we have a list of names which is represented by names list. Names list is taking each element such as Alex Louie and within names list there is a string 30 data type uh, value which has the actual letter by letter representation of this string. After the fact what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna print out my names list so I can whatever I write in I'm just printing out over here. If I look at my program press enter you will see name at index 0 is Alex Louis name at index 1 okay now if I want to actually print the letter any letter from whatever I've read in because this will print out the whole letter I mean the whole list I'm sorry the whole name okay now let's say I want to print out for this for each particular name I'm gonna print out the the actual sorry the first letter okay the first index would be sort of your row and then this second index would represent the individual letters that I can access of that name so if I run this I am going to see that Alex Louie, John Doe, Steve Smith, Peter Lorne. So you see that for index one, I printed out A. For John Doe, I printed out J, S, and P because the zeroth index gives me the first element of the array, which is A, J, S, P. Let me actually format this a bit okay, I formatted a bit so now it says the first letter is A J S and P because for every iteration at I for that particular name I want to print out the zeroth element which is going to be the first letter of the name so I can access the individual letters in this name so I can access the whole name by doing this or I can access individual letters by doing this two brackets with the element the second element populated and that's how you would keep a list of names any type of character data on in an array you'd be declaring a type defined char and then once you use that type defined char to keep the number of letters in your string then use that as your second type defined type to declare your new list called list of 50. If you have any questions, you can always contact me at parttimeadjunct at gmail.com or you can check me out at parttimeadjunct.com. Thanks for listening. Happy programming.